What's up? Welcome back to some more downrange gaming. Sign! And I know I've been slacking on my gaming lately, but I've been trying to get this video from boot camp onto the computer, and I finally did. So today is a special treat for you. So I'm going to show you some of the footage that I have from boot camp. And I know you guys have been waiting for it. So I'm going to jump into that in just a second. But I just want to talk about some of the gameplay that I had in this game on Nuketown, which is probably one of my favorite maps in Black Ops. And I'm rocking the AK-47 with the, the BDU camo. That was the actual camo that I wore when I was in the Air Force, was that camo. They just recently changed it to the uh, ABU, I think it's called. I think that's what it's called. And it's like a, like a light blue, and it's got the kind of like pixelated like the Marines had or have now. But yeah, so let me jump into some of this boot camp video that you've been waiting for and the first clip I'm going to show you is actually I talked about it in one of the game videos was getting our haircuts and hold on let me pause this game now I know the first thing you're thinking is damn that quality sucks and it was filmed with the VHS like the old school videotape cameras and can you point me out do you know which one I am put in the comments if you figured out which one I was before I told you obviously I'm not the first guy but yeah I'm the very last guy getting my hair ripped out if you could see how fast I was getting my hair cut and that was the one guy I didn't want to go to it seemed like he was like the the one the worst at doing it because a lot of guys had big patches in their hair still like he missed a lot of spots and the guy in the middle as you can see he's got a big ass head look how big his head is compared to that guy's hand that dude he became an element leader which was like one of the head guys in our flight that he was a douchebag he actually failed out of becoming the special forces tac p but he thought he was all gun ho and he isn't with his big ass head. As you can see, we're still in our civilian clothes. This was only the second day of boot camp. I think right after we got our haircuts, we went and got issued our uniforms. And one thing that I am kind of disappointed about this video is the TIs never wanted to be in it. So they, you ne I can't show you like the TIs yelling at us or doing stuff like that. I wish I could. And the next part of this video was us getting our uniforms. I'm not in any of the video of us getting issued our uniforms. So I'm just going to skip over that and show you some more gameplay. But the video was kind of whack. Like, I, th I can't even remember how much they charged us, but they did. I had to pay for that video. It was like an option, I remember. And I'm only in like two other parts. The next part I'm going to show you is they came to both flights. There was two flights on this video. There's 519 and 520. I was 519. And they just went to each trainee and you could say like a little message to your parents i guess or you could say whatever you want but the funny thing is i'm like wandering around in the background of the video because i'm trying to get into into it as much as possible and then when i get my chance to talk i kind of just like have nothing to say here i'll show you so i'm the guy Whoop! Oh, there i am i just turned around real quick i'm in the doorway just standing there trying to figure out oh camera i gotta get on camera but yeah these are the messages we got to say to our family and friends or whatever for the video and that real tall guy in the background was the flight leader. He's not a TI. He was a trainee too. But I was like, this guy gets in my way. I'm like, get out of my way, dude. I'm trying to be in the video. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah, that tall guy was, he was just a flight leader. The TI appointed him flight leader. That's the guy that would scream in his sleep, mommy, mommy. He actually got recycled. Recycled means when you get in trouble for doing something, they send you back like two weeks. So you'd have to do it over again. And he was one of the guys that got recycled. And if you listen to some of my previous videos, I talked about somebody getting in trouble for hiding like food and candy up in the ceiling. It was that guy. He was the one that did it. And just by him doing that, I don't know if you guys remember, I kind of talk about like element leaders and the flight leader. The TI appointed a couple people in the flight to kind of be in charge, but they're trainees as well. And for that guy getting in trouble, it caused his element leader and his flight leader to get recycled as well, which is messed up. They didn't even do anything wrong. So yeah, just for being a flight leader and someone getting in trouble under your command as a trainee, they sent you back weeks. So that's just something to think about if you go to boot camp and you get appointed a flight leader or element leader. And if you see, I just got a triple kill with a B-52, son. First time I ever did that. It was pretty dope. I was pretty happy about that. Back to the boot camp video. This guy says a funny story. Hold up. It involves a sock put on my hand and I repeat, I'm a dirty black sock. I belong in a mesh bag. <laughs> Love you. Now what happened to that guy was one of his socks weren't in a mesh bag and the TI caught him, 
yelled at him and made him put the sock on his hand and march around the dorm repeating, I'm a dirty little sock, I belong in a mesh bag. For like a good 30 to 45 minutes up and down the dorm. And I just remember hearing that for so long, we thought it was the funniest thing. So I guess you're wondering, where is my little shout out? I'm about to show you right now. Um, it's a little embarrassing. I could, I just think mine was really corny. Like I didn't really have much to say. I just said hi to my friends and family. And so I'll go ahead and show you that right now. Hi, mom, dad, Christine, Candace, Tony. I miss you guys. It's tough out here. It's hot. I'm gonna make it through though. I'm gonna graduate. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's mad whack. I it was like I had all this time to prepare something to say. I was standing in the background. I was like the last person to go. And that's all I could think of to say. Uh, it was terrible. It's terrible. But thank you guys for watching the video. And let me know if you're enjoying this kind of stuff. Like me pulling up old videos from boot camp. Um, I have a lot of pictures I'm going to show. So in the next video I'm going to get into graduation. Because a lot of those pictures are from graduation. Um, so please don't forget to give a thumbs up. Favorite. There, that helps a ton. So I know about 40,000 of you guys watch this video. So I better get like 40,000 thumbs up and favorite son. Because it helps out a lot. And it would make me want to do more of these and make them even better. So, yeah, this was, I didn't get the last kill, unfortunately, on this COD game. Black Ops. Um, but I did go like 9-1. I think I flashed the score. There you go. 9-1, son. And there goes a nuke. Thanks for watching. Peace.